Hey guys, it's Oscar. I'm going to be taking a quick look at a game called Dead Purge Outbreak today. Now, I did receive this product for free, but honestly, that's uh, it's not going to really sway my opinion of the game at all, because uh, this is a very subpar game, and for the asking price, it's definitely a no-go. So let's jump into the play option, which is the meat of the game, and here's the two modes that you're greeted in the game. Horde mode, which has... Oh, what is it? Seven waves of zombies that you have to uh, go through, and then after that, you're done with whatever level that you're playing. And survive, which is basically horde mode because the zombies still come in waves, but there's no end until you die. So we'll jump into horde for horde mode first. And if you're familiar with games like uh, Killing Floor 2, you may see some uh, pretty striking resemblances. The only problem that this has is unlike, uh, well here in, here in the very start of the match the camera will fly through give you kind of an idea of what the map looks like and things like that. Now the game itself actually looks pretty good I'll have to admit. It actually is done very well. However, the game itself is uh, not so much. So, like I was saying, so you'll notice that this is kind of like Killing Floor 2 where there's waves of zombies that come in, you're supposed to kill them, and at the very end of, you know, Killing Floor 2, you'd be, you'd encounter a boss character, whereas on this, you definitely won't. You just go through the seven waves, and that's kind of about it, and you'll go back to the mode selection and try another level or increase difficulty or whatever. Um, and that's one thing that the game will do right there. If you get enough headshots, I want to say, I'm not 100% sure how to trigger it, you'll get like a bullet time or slow motion thing like that, helping you increase your accuracy, see? So you have enough time to aim and really put it to the zombies. Or if you don't want to, you can just straight up murder them with the, uh, submachine gun. Now in between rounds, you'll see here in just a second. You're actually gaining money or points up in the right hand corner and with those points we can buy upgrades. Oh, let's see. And we're just supposed to find this little guy right here. This is kind of our shopkeeper, and we can buy different guns, refill our health packs, frag grenades, bullets, all that kind of stuff in between rounds. Now the game promises dozens of weapons and stuff like that. If you count it up with me, there's 4, 8, 11, 14. A little over a dozen. It's not dozens. There's really not a whole lot of choices for weapons. Let's go ahead and get out of this, because the next next wave is going to be pretty much just like this. So we'll go ahead and get out of that and go to the main menu. Now there is no character creation, no character select or anything. There is something called research. You click here, and you can actually buy different perks that stay chosen until you reset and try different ones. Now some of them will help you by giving you more health to start off with. You'll get more from health packs, do more damage, get more crits, that sort of thing. It's really nothing too crazy, and it doesn't have any sort of special abilities or anything like that, so you won't all of a sudden be able to throw a fireball at some zombies. Um, let's see, let's go to survive so you can kind of see. There's a little bit of a difference in the survival mode from the horde mode, where you don't buy things um, in between rounds. The zombies actually drop weapons and ammo and stuff like that. Here's another quick look at just the levels. So there's one, two, three, four... Four levels altogether. Now I thought this initial suburb day was basically the same as suburb sunset. This is actually a separate uh, map, and suburb night is basically a variant of suburb day uh, sunset. So there's really not a whole lot of different matches and stuff to go and check out. We'll do that one. And if you take alleyways or police station, it makes it a little bit easy because there's very narrow pathways that you can funnel, funnel the zombies in and if you have an automatic weapon you, you can just headshot them for you know all day and night 
And actually, I'll show you some of the AI. It's not the best here. Like, if you kind of hang out right here, you can make all the zombies spawn over on this side. So, the AI definitely has some work that needs to be done to improve the, uh... Improve the difficulty of it. Because if I just sit right here, I know exactly where the zombies are always going to spawn. And... As you can see, the zombies are dropping glowing things. That can be ammo, it can be weapons, it can be health packs, grenades, whatever. There we go, so now we'll just scavenge, see if there's bullets that we need. What is that? That was a grenade. I'll throw a grenade just to show you guys what it is. But yeah, that's basically everything that you can play in the game. Now, the game itself is $15 is what they're asking for on Steam, and in all honesty, this feels like no more than just a demo. And for $15, there better be a lot more than two modes, and basically one mode with just a different variant on the other. Because like I said, this is really no different than Horde. You're just hanging out until you die. And that's it. Oh yeah, I was going to throw a grenade for you guys, just so you can see. But the game itself, like I said, actually looks pretty good. Pretty decent graphics, pretty decent lighting, atmosphere, that sort of thing. It's not too bad. Sound is, you know, what it is, it's not bad. But that's kind of all there is to Dead Purge Outbreak. Um, if you're really looking for, like, a zombie shooter or whatever, honestly, I'd probably stick with the Killing Floor series. Or hell, go get Call of Duty and play zombies. <laughs> Either one of those will be a better uh, choice than this. Again, especially for $15, I really cannot recommend this. I mean, if you found it on a Steam sale for maybe 5 bucks or less, okay, maybe I could see you picking that up, because I've actually squeezed about 4 or 5 hours out of this. But beyond that, I don't think you're be spending your money in a very wise way, you guys. Anyway, thanks for checking out the Dead Purge Outbreak with me. Again, unless you're really hard up for a game, do not play this. It's not worth $15. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next video.